Well, praise the Lord. Uh, <clears throat> as I was studying the Bible and thinking on the Word of God, this is what kept coming to me over and over. The days the days that the locust wings are about to unfurl. And I went, What? What are you talking about? The days of the locust's wings are about to unfurl. Okay, normally you know, we call grasshoppers. They're top of locusts, and then there's locusts, but their wings are about to unfurl. So, is their wings about to unfurl to fly, to move from one place to another? Are, are, are they about to rub against the leg and begin to sing? But then I had a vision of the sky being full of locusts. I mean, I remember when I was young on the ranch, one day my mother, my sister, and I were out standing out in the yard. And we were all talking and, you know, just having a day together and mama looked up and she looked to the north and she seen this cloud coming in she said oh my god the, the, the grasshoppers are coming they're coming they're coming and we all looked and it, it was such a cloud that's how you could see of insects so mama had us all run in the house and when it hit you could literally hear them flying into the side of the house and landing and you could hear them eating the paint off the side of the house you looked out in the yard and they were stripping the grass off of the yard and 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 the trees of the leaves of the trees were just gone and, and the bark of the trees they'd even eat the bark of the trees so needless to say that year our garden mother always had a big garden didn't fare too good locust eats everything so i said okay what and so this is what the Father told me to do. Read Joel. Chapter 1. Verse 1. The word of the Lord that came to Joel, the son of Pethulam, P-E-T-H-U-E-L. -E -E Hear this, ye old men, and give ear all ye inhabitants of the land. Has this been... Had this been in your day, or even in the day of your fathers, tell ye your children of it, and let your children tell their children, and their children's other generations, that which the plum worm hath left hath the locust eaten, and that which the locust hath left hath the canker worm eaten, and, and the, which the canker worm hath left hath the cattle pillar eaten and it goes on and says awake ye drunkards and well and how all ye drunkards of wine because of the new wine for it is cut off from your mouth well when the locust comes and they're coming I really believe this they're coming they will eat the wine vines they will eat eat it and there will be no production of new wine. For a nation is come upon my land, strong, without number, whose teeth are the teeth of a lion. And he hath the 
chunk teeth of a great lion. He hath led my vine waste and broken my fig trees. He hath made it clean, barren, and cast it down. The branch thereof are made white. See, eating the very wood off of the branches and the vines. Limb it like, like a virgin girded with sackcloth for the husband for, of her youth. The meat offerings, the drink offerings are cut off from the house of the Lord, and the priest and the Lord's ministers mourn. The field is wasted, and the land mourneth, for the corn is waste, and the new wine is dried up, and the oil languish. Be ye shameful, O ye husband, husbandmen. Howl, O ye vines dressers, for the wheat and the barley, because the harvest of the field is perished. The vine is dried up, the fig tree languish, the pomegranate tree, the palm tree also had, and the apple tree, even all the trees of field are with, with redden, because joy is withheld away from the soul, sons of men. Gird yourself in limit, limitation, ye priest. How, ye ministers of the altar, come, lie all night in sackcloth, ye ministers of God, for the meat of the offering and the drink offering is withheld from the house of your God. Sanctify ye a feast, call a solemn assembly. Churches don't do that nowadays. But God is calling a solemn assembly of his people. Gather the elders and all the inhabitants of the land into the house of the Lord your God and cry unto the Lord. Alas for the day, for the day of the Lord is at hand. And as a destruction from the, as a destruction, and from the Almighty shall it come. Is not the meat cut off before your eyes? Yea, joy and gladness from the house of the of our God. The seed is rotten under under their clods, and the garment garnets are laid desolate, and the barns are broken down, for the corn is withered. And when I was reading this, this reminded me of the dark ages when when the little winter they call it the win little winter come and the f and and the grain rot right in the field this is going to happen again how do the beast groan the herds of the cattle are perplexed because they have no pasture yea the fields flocks of the sheep are made desolate O Lord, to thee will I cry, for the far hath devoured the pastures of the, the wilderness. A great drought is just about to happen that will bring the locusts in to eat what is left. And the flames have burnt off the trees of the field, and the beasts of the field cry also unto thee, for the rivers of the waters are dried up, and far hath devoured the pastures of the wilderness. Second chapter. Blow ye the trumpets of Zion. Sound alarm in the holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand, a day of darkness, of gloom, a day of clouds of dark, thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains a great people, a str strong, they might not be in ever the light, neither sh shall it be any more after it, even the year of many generations. A fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth. The land is as the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yea, nothing shall escape them. A mighty army is appearing. The wings of the locusts is unfurling. And the approach of them is as the approach of horses, and as horsemen as they sh shall they run. Like the mist like the noise of the chariots on the top of the mountain shall they leap like the noise of the flame of the fire that devoureth the stubble at, as a strong people set 
in battle array. Behold their face. The people shall be much pain. All faces shall gather blackness. They shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the walls like men of war. They shall march every one on his way, and they shall not break their ranks. Neither shall one tassel another. They shall walk every one in his path, and when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. So this is a spiritual, a spiritual army that's coming. They shall run to and fro in the city. They shall run upon the wall. They shall climb upon the house, and they shall eat, enter the w w windows like a thief. The earth shall quake before them. The heavens shall tremble. The sun and the moon shall be darkened, and the stars shall withhold their shine, and the Lord shall utter his voice before his army. For his camp is very great, for he is strong, and they ex execute his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible, and who can abide it? Therefore, also now, saith the Lord, turn ye every one, ever t turn ye even to me with all your heart, with all your feast, fasting, and with all your weeping, and with mourning. And rent your heart. It's time to clean your heart. And not your garments. Turn unto the Lord your God. For he is generous and merciful. Slow to anger and of great kindness. And reproveth him of the evil. Who knoweth if he will return and repent. And leave a blessing behind him. Even a meat offering and a drink offering unto the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Sanctify a feast called a solemn assembly. It's time, people. It's time. Gather the people. Sanctify the congregation. Assemble the elders. Gather the children and those that suck the breast. Let the bridegroom go forth out of his chamber and the bride out of her closet. For the bride will come out with the bridegroom. Let the priest and the ministers of the Lord weep before the porch and the altar. Let them say, Spare thy people, O Lord. Give not thine heritage to the reproach. That the heathen should rule over them. Wherefore shall they say unto the people, Where is thy God? Then will the Lord be jealous. For his land and for and pity his people yea the Lord will answer and say unto his people behold I will send you corn wine and oil ye shall be sanctified therewith and I will no more make you a reproach among the heathen that army that is coming up out of the bottomless pit the wings are about to unfurl and they're about to march through Israel like the plague that marched through Egypt. I will remove all of you from the north northern army. I will drive him into a land. This is talking about the army that will come down from the north into Israel. And will drive him into a land barren and desolate, his face towards the east sea, and his hinder parts toward the utmost sea, and, he's, and he shall stink, Shall, his stink shall come up, and his ill servants shall come up, because of he hath done great things. Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will not do great things. Be not afraid of ye beast of the field, for the pastures of the wildness do spring. For the trees beareth her fruit, and the fig tree and the vine do yield their strength. So after the locust has come, walked across the land to destroy it, God will call forth his spiritual army to go forth and to fight a mighty, mighty army that will fight against the rulers and principalities of the air. Be glad that ye children of Zion rejoice in the Lord your God. 
he hath given you to rain, the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain and the latter rain in the first month. He will bring the former and the latter rain together. He will bring it upon his people and upon his chosen army, his chosen vessels upon this earth. And the floor shall be full of wheat, and the fat shall overflow, and the wine and oil. And I will restore to you the year the locust, locust hath eaten. Those locusts that's born to run through that land and destroy it once more. Once more, make it desolate like it had, was when Israel first came back from the Holocaust. But God says, I will send my army to fight against them. And I will st restore the land of Israel once again, once again. I will restore to you the years the locust hath eaten, and the cankerworm, and the caterpillar, and the plumworm, my, my great army which I sent among you. Ye shall eat the plenty, and sanctify, and praise the name of the Lord of the Lord your God. And I have dwelt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, that I am the Lord your God, and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. So one more time, the locusts will walk across Israel and destroy. But then God will send his spiritual army out to fight the battle for Israel. And once again, that land, as it is right now, blooming, once again, it will bloom. But it will be like overnight. It will just burst forth. Okay, let's go on. And it shall come to pass that afterwards that I will pour my spirit upon all flesh. My sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old ones shall dream dreams. Your young ones shall see visions. And also upon the servants and upon the handmaiden in those days shall I pour out my spirit. We see a former and a latter rain is about to be poured back out again. Just as it was in the day of Pentecost when the Spirit of the Holy Ghost was poured about on them and tongues of fire danced on their head. It will happen again. It will happen again because he's going to send his spiritual army forth that will march across the land, that will cleanse it, that re will rejuvenate it, will bring it back to life once again. And with that pouring out of the Spirit, that the Holy Spirit will pour out again upon His people, upon us, the bride of Yeshua HaMashiach. And I shall saw wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood, fire, and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord's coming. And we see that we've got four blood red moons coming, and we, right in the middle, we've got the sun being darkened. 2014, 2015, big years. And then it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered. And in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord has said. And in that raiment whom the Lord shall call. Chapter 3. For behold, in those days and in that time when I shall bring again the captive of Judah and, and Jerusalem. And this is when the big movement of bringing all of the 12 tribes of Israel back to Jerusalem, back to the land of Israel, will happen. It is coming, people. It is coming. I will also gather all nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat, that great valley where the battle of Armageddon will be fought. And I will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage land. God, He, Yeshua, Hamashiach, will plead, will plead there in the valley of Jehoshaphat for his people, for his, the inheritance of Israel, whom they have sacrificed among the nations and parted my land. See, the land is about to be divided, which is a no-no. 
And they have cast lots for my people, and they have given a boy for a harlot, and sold a la girl for wine, and they might, dr might drink. Yea, what have you to do with me? Oh, T-Y-R-E and Z-I-D-O-N and all the coast of Palestine. Will ye render me a recompense? Will they render him a recompense? And if you respond, uh, represent me, re recomp oh, if ye rec recompense me, swiftly and speedily will I return your recompense unto your own head. Because ye have taken my silver, my gold, and have carried it into your temples, my goodly pleasant things, the children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Gorgarians that ye might remove them from far from their borders. This has happened once. This has happened once. When Rome come in and destroy it, they will try to do it again. They one more time. Behold, I will rise them up out of the place where you have sold them. I will re return your repents upon your own head, and I will sell your sons, your daughters, into the hand of the children of Judah. And they shall sell them to the S-A-B-E-A-N-S, -E to the people far off, for the Lord hath spoken it. Proclaim me this among the Gentiles. Proclaim, prepare war. Wake up, the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. When America is trying to divide the land of Israel and parcel it off, you are dividing America and parceling it, it, it off. For war is coming over there, over here. Beat your plowshow up. Uh, shears into swords your pruning hooks into spears let the weak say i am strong assemble yourselves and come all ye heathens gather yourselves together round about thither cause thy might one mighty ones to come down O lord let the mighty ones that army let the heathen be awakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there will I set to judge all the heathen round about. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, get ye down, for the press is full. The fat overflows, for the wicked is great. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision for the day of the lord is near the valley of decision the sun the moon shall be darkened the stars shall withhold their light, shine the lord also shall roar out of zion and, and utter his voice from jerusalem and the heavens and the earth shall shake but the lord shall be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of israel so shall ye know that I am the Lord your God dwelling in Zion, my holy mountain. They shall Jerusalem be holy, and there shall no stranger pass through her any more. The King of kings shall come, the Lord of lords, and Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, shall meet you in the valley of Jehoshaphat and the valley of great decision. Oh, who will you serve? And it shall come to pass in that day that the mountains shall drip down new honey, and the hills shall flow with milk, and all the rivers of Judah shall flow with water, and a fountain shall come forth out of the house, and the Lord shall water the valley of Shittim. Egypt shall be desolate. Egypt is about to be de totally destroyed. Eden shall be desolate wilderness. And we know where Eden is over there in Ju uh, Jordan. For the violence against the children of Judah, because they have shed innocent blood up in their land. But Judah shall dwell forever, and Jerusalem for generation to generation. For I will cleanse their blood that I have not cleansed. For the Lord dwelleth in Zion. 
we are in the last days, people. Things are about to happen. And when he said that the locust wings are about to unfurl and fly, that dark force is about to cover this world, not only Israel, but this world, and strip it of the food vegetation. Whenever a land is ruled, whenever a government has total di dictatorship, they, they control your food. They control your money. They control your health. They control your land. They control everything. And that's just about what Obama is about to do here in America. Strip all of our rights. And when the locust comes and, and, and the rain stops and the, and the drought happens and the streams dry up and, and, the, and the fields do not produce food, they will take over everything. It will happen in every country around the world and in Israel. But as they gather to go against Israel, because there will be places that Israel will be able to grow crops, and because Israel knows how to do it. They transport a lot of crops right now overseas. Think about it. So something is going to happen to the point that all the lands of, of the world will want to go to Israel. says it take they carry off their 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 gold they carry off all their resources over there what would be what would be so devastating if the world no longer had a food supply to feed their people but Israel is able to maintain their crops yielding very high yields of grain and food supplements and they have the resources that all of a sudden everything else has failed in the world America Russia you name them failed and people are starving they will invade Israel to take it over because they can produce what we are lacking. Much is going to happen. That's all I can say is much is going to happen. Prepare for the end days now. Prepare for the locust is coming. Bless you in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen.